Kings and Queens, your majesties, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. It was you and yours are well, and you are loving yourself and all just like always. Many thanks to all of you for the support to give to the channel. Thank you so much to our channel members, to our anonymous supporters, to all of you, my esteemed subscribers. You are loved, celebrated, and appreciated. So today I want to take your mind to there is this guy. Okay, he went viral sometime, I think about some months ago, where he was talking about how um Africans are beginning to wake up and that Europe and America should prepare for war. <laughs> yes, you heard that. Like, I think I talked about that as well. I don't know, but maybe not in total. Now, he went viral. He went viral on medias, calling out his Europeans to, to prepare for war because Africans are beginning to be wise. They are not gullible like before anymore and that they had to prepare themselves like he was talking to his fellow Europeans the reason why they're giving them reasons why they have to prepare for battle this time around they have to prepare their children as well so that when they cannot succeed their children can succeed so we are here as Melanita people as Africans thinking about something else killing ourselves with religion and these people are there planning on how they will prepare to come destroy us and if they cannot do it, their children will be able to. And this is what also take me to the illustration that was done about the African man and the Chinese. When we the Africans are here teaching our children only how to pray, the Chinese are teaching their toddlers how to develop, how to do infrastructure, how to develop um, um, go into technologies, create bridges, um, produce cars, produce um, phones, produce all other technologies. While we are here as parents, the only thing we do for our children is to tell them to go and pray. And then our children of five years can speak in tongue and jump up and down, but they don't know how to do anything with their hand. You see the way the world is going. We are interested in the other thing. They are there developing themselves and you see so i want to take you through the statement of this guy again i don't know why he always come out with some aggressive statement against africa like you could see the hate in his statement in his speeches but when you look beyond those hate and everything it's a a, a wake-up call for the african people okay it's a wake-up call for the african people that you have to wake up you have to become serious with your life because these people are not smiling. They are not happy that we now have Africans who could easily detect the game that Europeans and Americans are playing against the continent. Against the continent. They are not happy. And you shouldn't be surprised. These people like this, they have backup. Because when you listen to some of the things he say, it's only people that have backup that could say some of the things he say. So let's listen to him, your majesties. First of all, they're called facts. And secondly, maybe you need to do some introspection. Why do you think that so many people around the world, Asians and Europeans, don't like you Africans? Is it because you are the last to join civilization, but you are the least grateful for being allowed to join? No, you can't catch us. In, in Europe, we have a saying that goes, rather dead than a slave. We will burn our continent and kill all our children before you capture us. We will never be your slaves. Do you understand that? This is a mentality difference between us and you. You were the slaves because you were weak. That's your problem. Fix it. We're not going to do it anymore. Rather dead than a slave. We will burn our continent and kill all our children before you capture us. We will never be your slaves. Do you understand that? This is a mentality difference between us and you. You were the slaves because you were weak. That's your problem. Fix it. We're not going to do it anymore. Oh, your majesty, did you hear that? Did you hear that? You are the slaves because you were weak. Okay? And then this whole mentality of the, the white man is saving us. You heard him. Fix it yourself. We are not going to do that anymore. <laughs> wow. Like, when he talk about the civilization aspect, I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A lot of them have this idea. It's not, it's not a child. It's not just a small, a, a, young, a young person. It's someone who is, I think he should be around maybe his late 30s or early 40s. Okay? If I'm not mistaken, because these Europeans tend to be bigger than their age most of the times. Yeah, so he should be uh, maybe around late 30s or uh, early 40s. 
and he's making statements like this okay so they have this whole idea in their head of europe civilized africa and this is what is in our textbooks in our in our educational system in our in our schools okay this is what we teach people all thanks to europe and america who came to africa and showed africa the light <laughs> all thanks to europe and america who came and civilized the african people if not we'll be living on top trees jumping like monkeys <laughs> but the truth of the matter is that prior to when europe and america dreamt of leaving the caves that they were in okay especially europe the caucasians prior to when they could they could have a thought of leaving the caves that they were in and then come out to the broad daylight under the sun and then begin to think of how they can look for something to cover their bodies the african people already were civilized it was up here we talked about how africa civilized the world it was our ancestors that taught the caucasian how to dress up how to wash themselves okay there is a comprehensive documentation about that a lot of things that they learn how to use fire how to develop gold okay how to you know melt gold into some earrings jewelries and everything they came to egypt to learn most of these things to ancient sudan ancient nubia to egypt to ancient nubia to learn most of these things okay and mind you the first the first european that had contact with the african people were the greeks when the greeks came they went back and spread the word and that was how they started moving to, to egypt they started moving to ancient nubia for learning a lot of them learned under our ancestors because we have multi-genesis and this is the continent the same continent today that these people position their mouth and then tell you that you were nothing you were nothing it was if not for us you wouldn't have amount to anything and we take this thing up okay we take this thing up and use it our own worth we don't even think of it anymore we don't think of it anymore because in our schools these histories are not taught to our kids in our schools a lot of our lecturers in our in our in our institutions in the continent of africa they don't know it the the, the the real history of the motherland they're supposed to do they don't know that the history of the continent that they know is the one that europeans taught them how can someone who came to destroy you teach you the true history about your people having people like this is a threat to our own people when we are in the state that we are in at the moment because the state we are in is a state of we don't care anymore we want we always believe that something is coming from somewhere to come and save us but these people don't believe that way this is the same people these are the same people that should wear that were the ones that brought you religion right these are the same people but they are not seated waiting for a messiah to come and save them they are becoming their own messiahs and that's why you have people like them who come out uprightly and make speeches like this I told you the first the, the first statement that this guy made i came across him was when he was saying that they are preparing and they are preparing their children to come and fight africa that there is a battle there will be a war that will come you see the, the with the authority he's he, he's, he's talking that was how he, he he talked the first time okay so they are going for their own salvation they are working for their salvation by themselves with their hand but this is we the african people waiting for somebody that look like them to come and save us okay that's even the painful thing we are waiting for someone who is white with blonde hair and blue eyes that will come and save us and then they, they know that no one is coming so they are working out their salvation themselves very arrogant and why do you think they grew up with this mindset he is the type that was was he, of course remember when this whole lynching of the melanita people was so so much in america when black people were lynched in america the whites who were lynching these black people they go with their kids okay they go with their kids their little children and then these children stands there and look at this uh, uh, um look at the whole process 
without remorse these children don't feel anything they see people being burnt being set, set ablaze they don't feel anything why do you think that their parents were going with them it is i believe it is people like this that they have their parents took to to, to, to to go lynch people because there's no remorse he don't feel anything he feel is the normal thing he feel is a normal thing and it is people like this that move around with this whole superiority of white are superior to black people this, uh, this is a reality. All these other ones you do and say, God is this one, we are brothers and sisters, we are all created by God. Those ones are fairy tales. Though. They are not, this is the reality. This is the reality before your faces. The statement that this man had made is the reality. Okay? But we don't want to think about it as facts. We don't want to think about it as facts. Because we are still, we are still living in dreams. We are living in dreams and fairy tales and Europe and America are no more. They've grown past dreams and fairy tales because of course initially when they brought that to you it was just only to, 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 to take advantage of you, to lie to you. So they camouflaged, they came with that camouflage and took advantage of you. And it's quite unfortunate that um, we are in the situation we are in today. But the truth still remains that we are the ones that we help ourselves out. We are the ones that got our backs no one else does and this is why melanated women abroad have to be united for one cause these are the dreams of marcus gave these are the dream of of kwame nkrumah and all of the pan-african who worked so hard and gave up their life for the, the unity of the african people and i just pray and hope that their efforts will not be in vain because they will be where they are right now looking down at us and they will be disappointed because we are still brainwashed, we are still hypnotized, and they are taking advantage of us. Leave your thoughts and opinions there at the section, and I will see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others, stay safe, stay positive, always, your majesties. Bye for now.